Guys, uh, guy, I mean, here is, um, here's a new YouTube video series that I'm gonna be making, and, uh, it's bound to suck. So, don't expect anything fancy. But I've been wondering for a while, what exactly is the scariest horror movie in the world? I mean, I don't know, everybody's got their answers, like, oh, The Grudge, oh, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, oh, it's some hipster thing that came out, it's, it's Indian, and I only know about it because I'm into the indie scene of horror movies, because I'm a hipster, that makes me so cool. And if you're one of those people, just please, just swallow a lawn dart. Anyway, on with the, the thing, so, with each episode, I'm going to choose two, uh, classic, or pretty much just scary horror movies, and, uh, I'm going to be talking about them. Uh, I got my notes with me to kind of explain everything, and, um, yeah, so here we go. So the first movie in this series is Psycho. So, that's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. It's a pretty good movie. So, like, in it, there's this dude who's killing people. He's psychotic, and he's apparently caring for his m <coughs> mother, who is actually dead. It's inspired by Ed Gein, because, like, Ed Gein wanted to be his mom, so he slipped into a dead woman's skin. You know, that guy, you know, er everyone knows the shower scene. I mean... I mean, everybody knows it. Landon, you know the shower scene, right? Yeah. You know the dit, 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 dit scene. Yeah. I mean, everybody's at least heard that music or seen a parody or at least seen the thing itself. And if you don't know it, you need to throw jarts in the air and try and catch them with your mouth. The end, there's actually like two parts to the ending that are pretty good. Like, whenever they reveal that he is the guy that's actually being his mom. And, uh, that's pretty swole. And then, like, um, at the very end, he's sitting in the psych ward, and he's like, Oh, they're expecting me to be crazy in here, but I'm just gonna sit here. Look at that fly. Look at that fly. I'm not even gonna hurt that fly. That fly is probably spying on me. It's, it's also a timeless scene. Uh, on the horror rating, I would give that, uh, three shower heads out of five. Um, then we got my favorite horror movie, which is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's so like five youths are investigating the grave of the main character's grandpa, her name is Sally, the most creative name in the world. They need gas, and they're looking around for some of the good stuff, and then they find a hitchhiker who sucks. And then, like, you know, he takes them back to the house where all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre people are, and there's this freaky dinner scene where an old dude who was apparently supposed to be dead is actually like a grandpa or something. And he's tasked with killing Sally, who escapes because the old men don't lift for crap. Like, she runs out to the road, and the hitchhiker gets hit by a freaking huge... Gets hit by a truck and killed. And then Leatherface is, like, just running around, trying to get all the people. And then, like, and then a truck driver comes by, and he freaking baps Leatherface with a pipe. And Leatherface is all like, ow, that hurt. And then Sally jumps into the back of his truck, and they drive off into the sunset. Spoiler alert. You happy now? <laughs> and so, uh... These are old movies, so it's not like it matters. And so, um... Basically, uh... Like, then Leatherface just kind of dances off into the sunset with his chainsaw. Um... Uh, so far, the scariest movie in my list is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I gave that five chainsaws out of five on the horror... HORROR! You sicko. I'll give it on the horror rating. Uh. Oh, yeah, there's also this really cool scene where Sally's, uh, really, really stupid head, crippled brother. God, I probably just offended people if they actually see this. Um. He gets killed in the woods by Leatherface, you know, with school. So, anyway, so far the scariest movie is Texas Chancel Massacre. You know. Bye, I guess.